There's a new benefit to Caltrain's all-electric fleet. Those trains running up and down the peninsula are now doing just more than carrying passengers. Brad Hamilton is live in San Jose with the Caltrain, how it's giving back to the grid. Hey, Brad. Good evening, Ryan. Yes, over the past year, Caltrain's electric fleet has been really, st with each stop, they've been saving energy and giving it back to the South Bay Area community. But now, for the first time, all of that stopping and saving is finally paying off. On the surface, it looks like just another train. But inside each of Caltrain's 37 electric trains, something revolutionary is happening. When these trains slow down, they don't just break, they breathe energy back into the grid. And starting today, Caltrain will start getting paid for the power it sends back. We are here to celebrate an amazing partnership that will support both transit and clean energy in our community. The technology behind it is called regenerative braking. Each time a train slows down, about 23% of that energy is fed right back into the system. For the past year, that power went back into the grid for free. State Assembly member Diane Pappen, who represents District 21, pushed to change that. Caltrain was sending clean, renewable energy back to the grid, but it wasn't getting credit for it. If this were a rooftop solar situation, we would certainly be getting the credit for what we sent back to the grid. Her bill to make that law statewide didn't pass, but Caltrain negotiated its own deal, a first of its kind in California. Those agreements came through partnerships with Peninsula Clean Energy and San Jose Clean Energy, the agencies that power the train system. Our partnership is delivering exactly what the public expects cleaner air, smarter policy, and a stronger local grid. From diesel smoke to silent speed, Caltrain says the move to electric cuts about 250,000 metric tons of greenhouse gas every year. That's the equivalent of taking 55,000 cars off the road. And now every break, every stop helps power something else. San Jose Mayor Matt Mahan calls it the kind of local innovation that could reshape public transit statewide. This is a smart, practical climate action, and it shouldn't stop here. We need this approach statewide so that every community can make transit cleaner and more self-sustaining. So the next time that you hear those brakes, that sound just might be the future powering the bay. Yeah, and again, Caltrain officials believe that because of these changes, they're going to actually save millions of dollars in energy costs each year. And every official that spoke at this thing said the same thing. This is not just an example for the area, but really transit across the country.